Hey, what's going on, you Israeli cheese curds? Today, we're talking about the World War II beta. Unfortunately, I missed the first couple weeks. Uh, well, I did play the second week, but the week's on console, right? So this video today is actually going to be, uh, I don't know why I just said that all weird, but it's going to be the World War II PC beta. It's an open beta right now. You can go download it on Steam if you guys want. Um, a couple changes. They're probably not actually changes, but just the, with the whole networking on PC. But the kill time, I feel like it, it is what it should be. Maybe it's exactly the same, but maybe it's just easier to aim. So I think that's I think the aiming thing actually has a lot to do with it. But maybe uh, the kill time needs to change it just a tad bit on console, in my opinion. So, anyways, if you guys couldn't tell, I kind of skipped over what the what the hell this video is going to be about. It's going to be about uh, my World War II beta impressions and uh yeah just what i basically think about the the game itself all right so first thing is first let's talk about the maps within the beta there's four of them hopefully i can pronounce them right uh point do do hook do hawk the heck something like that pretty much a trench map personally i do not really like it i mean i do like it but for competitive in a competitive standpoint in a competitive perspective it's not going to be played. Um, I, that is definitely not their intention as well within for the map. Um, it was sort of more of like a chaos, like fun, uh, you know, mess around map, if you will. But absolutely love the feeling of that map. I think they they completely nailed the whole like this is supposed to be misery, like trench warfare is supposed to be miserable, and they completely hit the hit the nail on the head. Love the feel of that map though. Uh, second map. I'm going to talk about is Arden's Forest, a snow map. You got to add the snow maps in our Call of Duty. We the people want the snow maps, okay? And every single every single goddamn Call of Duty, they're throwing snow maps in. So bravo. <laughs> bravo. Okay, that is what we want. It's a good variety. Uh, but also, that map is actually going to be a competitive map. When we tested it out, the players absolutely love that map um, for pretty much... I think it was like two out of the three game modes, maybe three out of the three game modes. So it's it's kind of chaotic in pubs, 6v6, but 4v4, it's actually a really fun map. Next map I'm going to talk about is Aachen, which is sort of a rubble map, completely destroyed uh, little village city. And, uh, you know, it's it's an all right map, but there's so many like wall bangable things. And they're not really wall bangable, but there's so many. It's just really chaotic and there's not really, you know, smooth uh you know straight angles like straight line angles or right angle like head glitches there's always like little divots in the ground and it's just sort of like i don't want to say it's like random because it's it's really not but it's it's not really i don't think it's going to be competitive but overall it's a fun map i think that's going to be a cool map to get some sniper clips on possibly and then this map gibraltar which in my opinion is probably the best visually pleasing map in the game uh the layout is a little bit you know chaotic just because of how many there's like a catwalk and then an area under the catwalk then a pit of death right underneath that or right next to that so it's a little bit chaotic but it provides a, a huge variety for hardpoint locations and you know you might go from head glitch fest to in mid hill to a uh basically bum rush the the cannon hard point until you get you know naded out um it's 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 a huge and then the the other two hills the middle hills hills two and three are actually like anchor heavy hills where you know you really have to have that good spawn in order to uh hold the hill and that's you know that's what hard point's all about so gibraltar was a good hard point map i think it was also a good snd map so anyways the maps themselves are great I can tell you guys this, this is uh, just my personal opinion, right? Since I've already played the maps, pretty much every single map that's going to be in the game unless they, you know, randomly decided to release another one or scrap one of them. But these maps are good, but the maps that come are actually amazing. Like I think the three best maps or four best maps are not even released yet. Uh, anyways, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone on that in terms of the players that went there. Uh, but anyways, that was my comments for the maps themselves. Tomorrow I will be doing a COD Champs comparison between the 2014 
and the 2017 victories that I that I hold my rings okay I'm gonna have my rings in the video I didn't I haven't taken no Damon Barlow Jordan J Kaplan photos with uh, my rings you know punching the camera or whatever you know I, I'll do that eventually but I'm gonna show it off in a video first things first anyways guys thank you guys for watching appreciate the support on the most recent video the one before this and uh yeah keep tuning into the channel to see more videos every day firing division artillery target position confirmed recon flight concluded Damn fine work, soldier.